12.15 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Wanted to get a quick screencast recorded on the flooding situation on the San Lorenzo River, Santa Cruz County, California. We can see that it is absolutely at flood stage. It's out of its banks in certain areas not completely out of its banks in downtown Santa Cruz. It's definitely getting up there though. Fortunately, the flow is dropping now that the rain has stopped. However, uh, this is not to be underestimated. So if you're in a low-lying area within this county, you definitely want to move to higher ground and just be ready for the water to rise again when the rain returns because the soils are completely saturated. Just scrolling through Twitter here so you can see some of the latest video. Uh, the community of Felton was affected most significantly in this current event with flooding in uh, this low-lying neighborhood. Additionally, there's lots of landslides on the mountain roads and highways within the regions and that within the region and that is affecting things as well we can see some surfers here surfing on the river as the waves roll in all right so one thing i want to address here in, from the data perspective is looking at the current high flow on the San Lorenzo gauge in Santa Cruz. So this is the USGS gauge number um, right here. And we have this in table format for today. We're actually a seven day period. And we've stacked it, stacked the data so we can see the highest flow value was at 8.45 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So just about four hours ago, we recorded a flow of 15,000 cubic feet per second, which is at a gauge height of just under 24 feet. So cubic foot per second is the, just imagine a basketball of water flowing across an imaginary line every single second. That's one cubic feet. So when you see 15,000 cubic feet, that would be like 15,000 basketballs flowing across the river every second, an imaginary line. Uh, so that's how cubic feet are measured and that's how you understand that number. It's a little more specific than just a gauge height in feet. So we can compare that to historical records going back to 1956, which is the high water mark, literally, for this uh, gauge. And the flow at that time was 30,400 CFS. We can also look at how many times in the gauge's history the water has flown above today's high water mark so far for today, which is 15,000 CFS. And that is one, two, three, four times. Going back to 1958, April 2nd, we had 17,600 CFS. More recently, 2017, February 7th, we had 18,700 CFS, and 1998, February 3rd, gauge height 17.6 feet, 19,000 CFS. So I don't remember um, felt in flooding like it did today in 2017, and all sorts of reasons for that. Um, the the water could have just held its banks better and felt in's upstream of this gauge. So upstream flow could have been a little lower and then the accretion could have peaked higher lower uh, in the stream as it got closer to the estuary where it meets the sea. If you have ideas on why or if uh, Felton, the neighborhood in Felton flooded during this 2017 event, please let me know in the comments below. And links to all this data will be in the description below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Turn around, don't drown. We'll see you around.